Now we're going to take a triangle, FGH, and we're going to reflect it, then reflect its reflection. We'll see more of this in section 5, composite transformations, but let's just, let's just do this, double reflection. First off, I've plotted this figure here, uh, according to the given points, and my first axis of reflection is right here. That's the line y equals 2, and you can see it contains points H and F. Well, it's pretty convenient for us because when we reflect, those points aren't going anywhere. They're already on the line of reflection. The only point that's going to be moving is, of course, G. And I can look at that, and I can say, well, let me see, it's three units above, so it's going to flip down three units below. It's going to look just like that. So, there is your first reflection. Then, we're going to reflect this triangle, I'll call it the red triangle, over, and say this line. And this is the line y equals negative 1. Again, it contains the point g. So g is not going anywhere. Um, I can look at this figure again. I'm looking at this point f. It's got to be, see, its reflection has to be equidistant and perpendicular to that green line, so it's going to have to be straight below it. Instead of one, three units above, three units below. H is three units above this green line. It's going to reflect down here three units below. And the green triangle will be here, and it's going to look like that. So there you go, a double reflection. Now let's take the exact same triangle, our blue triangle, and we're going to reflect it over two different lines. This time, my first axis of reflection is here. Ah, now we're going to get three new points. I mean, after all, I've got y equals negative 1 here. Remember, I'm going to have to take these points same distance and perpendicular to this line. So the negative 1 will remain constant. This h is 3 units above. It's going to go 3 units below the line y equals negative 1. This point on 5, g is 6 units above. It needs to go 6 units below, below this line. And finally, again, 3 units above, 3 units below, taking us to 3 negative 4. When I draw in my image, it's going to look like that. So there it is. Well, that's stage 1. Now, maybe I'll move some of these out of the way a little bit. It's going to get crowded here because I'm going to put in my new line of reflection. It's over here. x equals 2. So now, we're flipping left to right. Let's start right here with this g. This is one unit to the left of the green line. It's going to flip one unit to the right. F prime is one unit to the right. It's going to go one unit to the left. It's going to flip this way. And finally, H, look at this, negative one. And that's three units to the left of this green line. It's got to go three units to the right of the green line. So. It'll look a lot like this. Move these tags out of the way here. And there you go. And one final double reflection of our blue triangle. Remember, we'll call that composite later. We're going to take this across this line, the line y equals x. Now you remember the coordinate rules. AB maps to BA. So 1, 5. 5, 1. 3, 2. We'll flip over to 2, 3. 2, negative 1. Or, I'm sorry, negative 1, 2. 2, negative 1. When I draw in that triangle, it's right there. And, ah, that is my reflection across the line y equals x. Very good. Now, we're going to reflect across this vertical line, x equals negative 3. And this is the same thing we've been doing. 
I'm going to count the distance, or calculate the distance, from negative 3 to 2 is a distance of 5. So I've got to go 5 units on the other side. Remember, perpendicular distance, that should be negative 8, negative 1, <coughs> from f here, or f prime, 2, 3. That's 5 units to the right of the green line, 5 units to the left of the green line. Now, finally, g prime. Well, well, that's going to be, well, that's quite a distance. That's going to be 8 units, so I'm going to have to pick that up and go 8 units to the left of this green line. So, my green image is all the way over there. And now, we've had a nice introduction to composite transformations.